Right now we're fishing a big wheat flat here at about eight to 10 feet of water. This is your traditional jig and pig. Hey, uh, one, Mike. Okay, there you go. You got that, that same jig? Yep, same jig with that meat. There you go. Big All old right. pork on there. He ate it too. <laughs> textbook, oh, textbook spot to hook pretty him. Pretty fish. Pretty big old fish. piece of pork, big grass stalker jig. Right now we're fishing a big wheat flat here at about eight to ten feet of water. And what you do is you take this jig. I'm going to show you how to how to work this jig. So I got a three quarter ounce grass stalker with the big piece of pork on there, Uncle Josh. And what I do is I take I got a seven and a half foot rod here with with, with fifty pound braid and a bait caster setup because you got to you got to really horse these fish out of these weeds. Even though you can't see the weeds and it looks like we're in open water, those weeds are real thick down there from the bottom up about five feet. So what I'm going to do. Is I take it and just flip this jig out there about 15 yards and I let it fall down and you have to watch your line as it falls because what happened with that fish is as soon as that jig hit those weeds my line jumped and I just made sure I had a tight line and I just swing and set the hook but what you want to make sure is you just want to work that jig through the weeds and as you can see the jig, the jig will get hung a little bit and I, you just want to pop it free if you see that rod tip and then pop it free let it fall back down work it pop that jig free of the weeds let it fall back down and a lot of times when you pop it free of those weeds on that fall is when those you trigger that bite from those fish now Matt one thing I noticed in uh, as we've been fishing here with you've gone to a uh, one ounce jig and yep. that heavier jig really enables you to pop that off of this vegetation we've hardly been hung up at all today no it's incredible this the design of this head this grass stalker really allows you to fish through these real thick weeds but like you said Mike a one ounce jig and the reason I'm choosing a one ounce jig is because these fish are kind of sluggish today so I want, I want a reaction bite I want it to fall real quick pop it out of those weeds let it fall back down real quick and that's how you get that reaction bite whether those fish are lethargic or aggressive either way that fast falls should trigger some bites like it just happened there Right now we're fishing a big wheat flat here at about 8 to 10 feet of water. This is your traditional jig and pig.